Hello YouTube, it's your boy Pat with Pettis Advanced Training Solutions. Today we were discussing how to prepare and to win in a violent street encounter. But before we do, make sure you smash that subscribe and like button so we can bring more content to you in the future. So let's get started. Today, we will be discussing four factors that impact that preparation. The first factor is situational awareness. Quite simply, this is being aware of your surroundings and assessing the current situation. So what does that mean? That means be very vigilant when you're out and about. The best way to win a violent encounter in the street is not to get into one ladies and gentlemen and if we have our situational awareness going then we can see issues prior to them happening if we can see them prior to them happening then we can avoid those situations situational awareness is training yourself to tune in to appropriate levels of awareness to the circumstances being presented to you just watching and paying attention and being aware of what's going around you and what's happening to you at that moment in time. Remember, avoid it at all costs if possible. The second factor we want to talk about today is positive self-talk. The bottom line with positive self-talk is that if you tell yourself that you can't do it, then you probably can't and won't be able to do it. Positive thinking reinforces your training and your conviction that you can and you will do it. Think positive, ladies and gentlemen. You'll be surprised at how far it gets you in a violent street encounter. Our third factor that we're going to talk about is fear control. This is very, very important. Understand, fear is your body's and mind's automatic response to a perceived threat. We can't control fear, but what we can do is control how we react to that fear. The first thing that we should do when fear hits us is you need to start controlling your breathing. One method of breath control is in through the nose for five seconds, out through the mouth for eight seconds. What breathing does is controls the adrenaline dump and it allows us time to think rational thoughts. A long story short, it calms you down, it clears your head, and it helps you make better decisions. So make sure that we breathe, ladies and gentlemen, so that we can make good decisions. The fourth factor that we're going to talk about today is mental rehearsal. This is probably one of your top factors in surviving a violent encounter is the mental rehearsal. Mental visualization and rehearsal helps control the fear factor and allows your subconscious mind to kick in when you are confronted. It has already had a game plan to play by. So how do we do this mental rehearsal? We at Pettis Advanced Training Solutions strictly believe in scenario based training when it comes to mental rehearsal. In scenario based training, we're creating mental files to follow and to go by. Those mental files will help us when a violent encounter happens. That way we don't have to think, we only react. The last thing that's not a part of our four factors is courage. What is courage? Courage is defined as having the nerve tenacity, and determination to survive a violent encounter. 
It's all about keeping your cool under stress and acting tactically and intelligently. We at Pettis Advanced Training Solutions, that is our goal, to train you how to be cool, level-headed, and to win a violent encounter. For us at Pettis Advanced Training Solutions, surviving is not enough because there is a wide range of survival. We want to win. What that means is we go home in the same condition that we left our house earlier that day. In conclusion, be aware of your surroundings, guys. The most important thing to surviving a street encounter is not getting into one. Be aware of your surroundings so that you can avoid it. Positive self-talk, just like the little engine that could. As long as you think you can, you will. The mind is extremely powerful. Control your fear. Use some sort of breathing technique to control your fear, to calm things down, to control your adrenaline, and to have more rational thought in that encounter. Mentally rehearse. Mental rehearsal is so important because once we build those mental files, we don't have to think. All we have to do is react. And above all, be courageous. If you would like more information about our concepts at Pettis Advanced Training Solutions, please visit us. I'm going to put the links in the box below. We would love to hear from you guys. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. And good night. Depending on where you are in YouTube land. I bid you adieu. See you next time.